Hey everyone, in this video I am going to discuss secondary growth in plants by taking the example of dicot stem. This topic is slightly confusing as it becomes hard to imagine the position of the layers and their formation so I have prepared an animation to make it easy to understand. In simple words, secondary growth is the process by which a thin delicate plant transforms into a strong thick tree. This type of growth is usually observed in dicots and in gymnosperms. This video will be divided into two parts. In the first part, we'll see the important layers related to the secondary growth and in the second part, we'll see the actual secondary growth. So let's discuss the first part. The outermost layer which protects the plant in initial phase is called epidermis, which is single layered in most of the plants. The layer below the epidermis is called hypodermis, which plays important role in providing support and performs photosynthesis as well. All the layers inner to hypodermis are labeled as cortex. There are a few other layers, but we are not going to discuss that in this video. The inner part of the stem consists of vascular tissues, xylem and phloem, called vascular bundles. The vascular bundle and dicot stem are called conjoint collateral and open type. Conjoint means both xylem and phloem are joined with each other. Collateral as the phloem is present on the outer part and xylem is present towards the center. And open as vascular bundle consists of a layer of cambium called intrafascicular vascular cambium between them. The region between two vascular bundles is called medullary rays. The central part of the stem is called the pith. Secondary growth occurs due to the activity of two types of cambium. The first is vascular cambium, which forms secondary xylem and secondary phloem during the secondary growth. The second is cord cambium, which forms the new protective layers. Formation of vascular cambium occurs due to the de-differentiation of cells of medullary rays. As a result, a ring of dividing cell is formed by joining of intrafascicular cambium with the newly formed interfascicular cambium. This ring is called the vascular cambium. The core cambium is formed by de-differentiation of cells of cortex. Both cambium add cells on both outer as well as inner sides. The core cambium is also called phalogen and it forms cork or also called phalem on the outer side and secondary cortex phaloderm on the inner side. The activity of vascular cambium adds secondary phloem on the outer side and secondary xylem on the inner side. Now let's see how this occurs with the help of animation. During the spring season, activity of vascular cambium is more, so the secondary xylem formed is lighter in color and the ring has wider diameter. This is called spring wood. During the autumn season, activity of vascular cambium decreases, so the secondary xylem formed is dark in color and ring is relatively narrower. This is called the autumn wood. So in a year, one ring of spring wood and one ring of autumn wood is inner to the vascular cambium. One ring of spring wood and one ring of autumn wood is combinedly called one annual ring which is used to determine the age of trees. On the outer side, the vascular cambium forms the secondary phloem. The activity of vascular cambium is more on the inner side than the outer side. Hence the thickness of secondary xylem formed is more than the thickness of secondary phloem. Simultaneously, the core cambium forms a thick dark layer of dead cells on the outer surface to replace the ruptured epidermis. This layer is called cork. The activity of core cambium on the inner side forms another layer called secondary cortex. Due to the activity of vascular cambium and core cambium, the primary cortex gets crushed between the newly formed layers. In the next year, new layers of spring wood, autumn wood, secondary phloem, secondary cortex and cork are formed. All the newly formed layers are present either just inner to the cambium or just outer to the cambium depending on their position. For example, the second annual ring is present just inner to the vascular cambium. A second ring of secondary phloem is present just outer to the vascular cambium and all the previously formed layers moves away from the cambium. Also, as the new layers of secondary xylem and secondary phloem are formed, the previously formed layers becomes non-functional. So most of the transport of either water, minerals and food is performed by the newly formed secondary xylem and secondary phloem. Similarly, each year new layers are added and as a result, the girth of the tree keeps on increasing. So I hope this video makes it clear the growth, the secondary growth observed in plants and the position of the layers. If there is still any query, you can ask it in the comment section below.